There are people who like history a lot, and some even go on to study it full time and specialize in it. There are also other people who aren't as interested in history but enjoy some of the stories that history has to offer. You will definitely enjoy this video regardless of which group you associate with. Welcome back to the Told You Another Story channel. In this video, we will be looking at the story of Prince William of Gloucester. I'm pretty sure that some of you probably don't know where Gloucester is, nor have you heard about it before. It kind of makes sense since it isn't a very popular place in the world. However, the place has a rather interesting history that I'm sure you will love to hear about. In case you didn't know, the United Kingdom has been ruled by royalty for many years, and one of the great rulers of the UK was King George V, the third son and fourth child of King George V and his wife, Queen Mary, was Prince Henry. He was the Duke of Gloucester and served as Governor General of Australia between 1945 to 1947, being the only member of the British royal family to hold the post. He also served as the father of Prince William of Gloucester. Prince William was born on December 18, 1941 at Hadley Common, Hertfordshire, to Prince Henry, Duke of Gloucester and his wife Alice, Duchess of Gloucester, the third daughter of the seventh Duke of Buccleuch and Lady Margaret Bridgman. Being the grandson of King George V and the parental cousin of Queen Elizabeth II, he had a certain amount of claim to the throne, being the fourth in line to the throne at the time of his birth. His godparents included his paternal uncle King George VI, his paternal grandmother Queen Mary, his cousin Princess Helena Victoria, his maternal aunt Lady Margaret Hawkins, his maternal uncle Major Lord William Montagu Douglas Scott, and senior British Army officer Lord Gort. While it is quite weird for someone to have this many godparents, it was pretty normal for Prince William, considering he was royalty and all these people, except Lord Gort, were present at his baptism and christening. When he was born and for months afterwards, Prince Henry was away on military duties, some of which meant significant risk. This encouraged King George VI to write to Prince William's mother, promising that he would become Prince William's guardian if anything should happen to Prince Henry. In 1947, Prince William served as a page boy for his cousin Queen Elizabeth II at her wedding to Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, and attended her coronation in 1953. Prince William spent his early years at Barnwell Manor in Northamptonshire and later moved to Canberra, Australia, where his father was the Governor General from 1945 to 1947. On returning to England, he got his education at Wellesley House School, a prep school at Broadstairs in Kent. He later moved on to Eton College where he was referenced in the Eton College Chronicle for his performance in junior cricket and achieved house colours for football. After leaving Eton College in 1960, he moved on to Magdalene College, Cambridge to study history and graduated with a Bachelor of Art degree in 1963, which was later improved to a Master of Arts degree in 1968. After his studies at Cambridge, he spent a post-baccalaureate year at Stanford University reading political science, American history and business. When he returned to Britain after his studies, he took up a position at Lazard, a financial advisory and asset management firm on what is simply a merchant bank. He became the second member of the British royal family to work in the diplomatic or civil service, the first being his uncle, Prince George, Duke of Kent, in the 1920s. In 1965, Prince William joined the Commonwealth Office and was posted to Lagos, Nigeria as the third secretary at the British High Commission. He was transferred to Tokyo in 1968 to serve as the second commercial secretary in the British Embassy. Shortly before being transferred to Tokyo in August 1968, Prince William's mother requested that he be examined by a Royal Air Force doctor, Hedley Bellringer. He told the doctor that he had jaundice, which started in December 1965 and lasted several months. He then noticed that his skin was susceptible to a blistering rash, mainly on exposure to sunshine. Dr. Bellringer uncertainly diagnosed him with peripheria and prescribed sunblock cream along with a medical warning card about the need to avoid certain medications. Prince William was later examined by hematologists at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge as well as by Professor Ishihara in Tokyo, both of whom also concluded he was suffering from variegate porphyria, by then in remission. A member of the British royal family being diagnosed with porphyria added credibility to the theory initially proposed by Professor McElpine in the late 1960s that the disease porphyria was the source of the ill health of both Queen Mary of Scots and ancestor of both of Prince William's parents and King George III. 
Professor McElpine also proposed that the disorder had been inherited by some members of the royal families of Britain, Prussia, and many German duchies and principalities. Regardless, this wasn't enough to kill the young prince and was quickly forgotten with time. The health of Prince Henry, the Duke of Gloucester, had gotten worse after more strokes and Prince William had no choice but to resign from the diplomatic and civil service and return to Britain in 1970 so as to take care of his father's estate and, as he put it, take on the full-time job of a royal prince. On his way back to Britain, he represented Queen Elizabeth II at the celebrations to mark the end of the kingdom of Tonga's status as a protected state. Prince William managed Barnwell Manor for the next two years and started carrying out public duties as a member of the British royal family. Apart from taking charge of many engagements that Prince Henry could no longer complete, Prince William took a certain interest in St. John's Ambulance, where he became more and more active. He was also the president of the National Ski Federation Supporters Association, the Magdalene Society in Cambridge, the East Midlands Tourist Board, and the Royal African Society. His patronages included the Royal Anthropological Institute of Great Britain, the British Schools Exploring Society, and the Tally Lynn Railway Preservation Society. Apart from these engagements, Prince William also served on some occasions as Councillor of State in the place of his cousin, Queen Elizabeth II. Friends constantly described Prince William as adventurous, almost to the point of recklessness, warm, tender, and really generous. However, out of all these qualities, the one most often cited is that of loyalty to his friends. During his lifetime, Prince William was initially involved with former model and stewardess Zussie Starkloff, with whom he had a long-running relationship. Regardless of the alleged hesitancy of senior members of the royal family to take his relationship with Zussie seriously, the standards concerning marriage in the British royal family at the time were not as strict as they had been originally. Moreover, once back in England, Zuzi stayed with Prince William's family at Barnwell Manor, where his parents cared for and accommodated her. However, his intentions regarding his relationship with her remained unclear, and the two last met in person in August 1970. The early 1970s brought about another relationship for Prince William, as he started a relationship with divorcee Nicole Seif, who had two children from her marriage to Jonathan Seif. Prince William was also a licensed pilot and the president of the British Light Aviation Centre. He also owned several aircraft and competed in several amateur air show races. On August 28, 1972, Prince William was competing in the Goodyear International Air Trophy along with Viral Mitchell, a pilot with whom the prince had often raced. Just after takeoff and while at a really low altitude, the Piper Cherokee aircraft banked abruptly to port, resulting in a dangerous increase in the turn rate and a loss of altitude. The plane's wing hit a tree shearing off, and the out-of-control aircraft flipped over, crashing into an earthen bank and bursting into flames. The crash happened before 30,000 spectators, and Prince William and Viral Mitchell died in the fire. Prince Henry was so ill at the time that his mother considered not telling him about it. Prince William was buried in the Royal Burial Ground, and the Comprehensive School in Ondel, which he created in 1971, was renamed Prince William School in his memory. Prince William was the heir apparent of Prince Henry's peerages, which included Duke of Gloucester, Earl of Ulster, and Baron Culloden, and his younger brother, Prince Richard of Gloucester, upon his death, became heir apparent. Prince William was King George V's and Queen Mary's first grandchild to die, making this a really sad tale for the royal family. Thank you for watching this video. Hit us up in the comment section and give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos.